Hello, let's play a bunch of daily word games. Today's bonus game is Gauntlet, which is a game I co-created with the Asylum. And uh, it doesn't have a daily, but I, I haven't featured it in this series before. I do it on my live streams, but I thought you all might be interested in trying that out. So it has what's called Ultra Hard Mode, which is the mode I definitely recommend doing. Uh, and so I'm going to start with Ultra. And I will explain what that means when we get there. All right. Um, wow. So. The left and right info is basically the same, except the right has an R. So I'm going to guess the left word, which will hopefully give more info. Um, although I'm thinking the left word is feral. And if it is and I get it in two, that's amazing. So I'm going to gamble that. Darn. Okay, well, the left ends with A-L. Um, so is the right like L-A-R? Or it could be like R something A-L. Um, like trial, but not trial. All right, well, let's think about the left word. You could end in O-A-L, I suppose, um, or I-A-L, or it could be like, I'm not sure what else, I mean, it could be A-L on its own, but I'm not sure like what consonant I would want to put there. It's kind of tough, huh? Should I think about the right word instead? I'm thinking L-A-R. Isn't something like, like my mylar? Is, yeah, mylar is a thing. That's a material. Ooh, very close. Oh, it's molar. <laughs> a little bit more common. That helped the... Whoa, there's a Y in both words. Oh, no, sorry. There's a Y in the left word. There is not a Y in both words. I think it's loyal. It, it could be... It can't be royal. It is loyal. Okay. Uh, are your molars uh, loyal to you? Is the question Dordle's asking. All right. <laughs> Let's do fibble. Um, I kind of want to do a double E word. But the problem is, where does that C go? So maybe not, unless there's like an ECE word. I'm already not liking that. Um, oof. If I want to make that E true, it actually kind of limits where I can put the C. I could do an ECK word. Fleck. All gray. That's what we want to see. That's a, that's a X-wing. So one of these C's is lying, one of these E's is lying. That's the two lies that are in these guesses. So the rest of these letters cannot be lying, or we can't have both the C and the E be lying. So I'm going to just put that E in place again, and we're going to do all new letters. Um, like what? Press came to mind, but I don't know. Double letters aren't terrible in Fibble, so let's give that a try. The E was gray again. So I'm thinking maybe the C was truthful and it's a lie here. Um, so if I wanted that S in place, what would I do here? Like a, like a, I feel like there's just not a P. I feel like there's not room for that. Is there like an ISC word? Like disc is a word, but I don't know if we can make a five letter word with that. So what else would we do? Like a disco? No, disco doesn't work. What if the S were the line? We just we just use a C and a P in the word that both aren't first. I think that might be better. So if we're gonna use a C and a P in a word, um, that S could be lying as yellow. It could be S P. <laughs> Back of the spec. Um, and then I just need to put a C somewhere. You know, oh no, I can't have those E's all lying if I want to use a P. Um, or rather, if I don't want to use the green S there. Uh, shoot. Spicy. Spicy works, if I can actually type it. Okay, well, so I'm working off the idea that this is a lie, which would mean this has to be a lie. But then the P has nowhere to go, right? We'd have to be PC or CP. So I think that these E's are both lying. And I think the C is lying and there's no C. Which means I need an E in the middle. 
Now, either that P is lying. No, that means the P is in the word. So the S is lying. No, the S. Yeah, the S has to be there. So this S would be lying. Because there's not two S's. So then we'd need a P there. It would be forced there. And then what's our lie? Hold on. <laughs> what's the lie? The lie is the S, right? Okay, good. So what ends in ESP? Um, nothing? <laughs> so what did I do wrong? Let's, let's reset. Let's mark what we know to be true as much as possible. So we know that one of these E's is lying, one of these C's is lying. So the rest of this is not lying. Okay. Uh, one of these E's is lying. That doesn't help me. One of these S's is lying. So there has to be a P in the word. Did I consider that this S might be lying? Hmm. And there's an S here and an S here. And then I could do S P something S something. My lie, I'd have to include the E here. That's two lies in press, why? I can't. I can't. Oh, okay. I have to decide between this E and C line. Oh, boy. Okay, so what are we... I think I investigated having the C lying, so let's have the E's here both lying. Let's mark all that. So I don't think we can logically get here yet. So that means this E is true, and this C is lying. It has to. It means that C is true. We know that there is a P in the word. We also know there would be an E in the middle. We also would know that this S, second S, is not lying, so this S has to be the lie. So we're kind of back at this. I thought I tried this. Maybe this is what I tried. Um, yeah, because we ended with SP. So I, I just tried the exact same thing again. So instead, we are going to make the E lie, this E lie. And we're going to say there's just no E's, which does mean that this C is lying. So... From here, what do we do? We have to include a C, so that C is lying as well. So we start, so that, that means this S, one of these two S's is lying, so the R and P are correct. Because either this S should have been yellow or that S should have been yellow. So I need to use a, I need to start with S, I need to put a P somewhere, I need to put a C somewhere. This is actually okay. Honestly, it could be like, Hmm. We're, like, this looks okay to me, but I need an actual word. Like, it can't be scope because of the E. It can't be scamp. It can be scamp, actually. So I think that makes this the lie. So we're SC something something P. What's left? Scoop. Wow, okay. There were some nasty lies in this one, definitely. Um, these two C's both lying, that's pretty nasty. And then this green S lying, but it should have been yellow, and over here, that was nasty too. But yeah, we got there. Um, not a terrible solve for me today. Just took a while. All right, let's do connections. We're finding four groups of four. So... Hmm, basketball. Horseshoe. Things you shoot? I don't know. Um, T, like t-shirt? Or is it like the T from golf? Is that how you spell that? Rod. Staff. Rod and staff and pole and stick feel similar. Maybe pitchfork? Okay, so let's not quite lock that in yet. 
Pumpkin is weird. Goldfish is weird. Things that are orange. What else is orange? Basketballs are orange. Carrots are orange. Things that are orange. Wow. Okay. Um, so now, well, that didn't use up any of my long, long sticks, did it? Um, my staff and my stick and my pole. So could these be, these could be golf related terms. We've got the golf cart, the golf club, we've got the, the hole and we've got the tee. Let's try it. Yay. Scene on a golf course. That wasn't that hard. Um, the difficulty levels of this game just <laughs> all over the place. I think it is knowledge based though. Um, let's see. So the things that aren't the long, the long sticks, triangle, horseshoe, circle. These are shapes. What? These are shapes. What else is a shape? I'm a little bit confused. I'm pretty sure these go together. And if I had to, if I had to guess, which I think I will, I'm going to, I'm going to put staff, pole, rod, and stick together. Yeah. Shapes of capital Greek letters. <laughs> so they are shapes. Okay. And then these are long, plenty things. Long, skinny objects. Okay. Yeah, Pitchfork didn't really fit in with like the rest because Pitchfork has that extra stuff going on. Shapes of capital Greek letters. Come on. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's do Gaunt Little. Um, let me explain how this works. I, I co-created this with the Asylum. And I definitely recommend going into the options. You can choose how you want to reveal answerless stuff, though I do recommend at least only on last board if you're going to play ultra hard mode. And then adversarial mode, go on ultra. Adversarial mode only affects the final grid. So when we get to the final grid, I'll explain it. But basically what's going to happen here is we're going to be solving four, or we're going to be solving five grids with the fifth grid being special. So for the first four grids, we're going to be forced to start with our previous, um, with our, with the answer of the previous board. So board two starts with the answer board one, board three starts the answer board two, et cetera. Board five, though, it fills in the first four guesses with the four answers from all four of the previous boards. In addition to that, it's because we put it on ultra hard mode, it is adversarial in the sense that um, you get your guess five, but then, and, and guess six, but if it's at all possible that you could have been wrong, then you were wrong. It doesn't have an answer in mind. It has all the answers in mind, and it will pick one as the final answer that isn't something you guessed if it's able to. So you have to do a perfect filler on guess five and then do guess six. In ultra hard mode, um, there are a limited number of possible fillers. So uh, it's pretty fun. It's a good way to think about how to, how to do good fillers. Um, anyway, let's find a starting word from connections. Uh, Staff? Stick. I like stick. So I'm going to fill in stick and we'll make a face. I don't know. Do you like the silly faces? All right, stick. Nothing from stick. All right, remember, these aren't adversarial, just the fifth one is. Uh, ready. Nice. All right, dr something e. Drove? Oh, and I do have this option on where it'll tell me if what I typed in is... Um, like if I just do like all Fs, right, it'll be red because it's not in the dictionary. But if I do something like um, a do, then it'll be yellow because yes, you're allowed to guess it, but it's not going to be an answer. So that's very helpful for the last grid, especially. Um, so I think we're an OER word. So it has to be O-D-E-R, like not coder. Um, is it? Uh, noter, motor. So motor it would accept, but it wouldn't be an answer. Boater, voter, goater, hoder, joder, loader. <laughs> um, I don't think it's this then. Um, 
So it's not an ER word. Um, maybe it's like an R-E-D word, like, oh, sorry, O-R-E-D, core, no, board. Wow, board's not on the answer list. Um, this uses the same answer list as Wordle, by the way. Gord, Wart, Ford. I'm going to have to guess something. If I So I, I'm just going to use this guess. I'm going to guess board. Okay, so the E does go there. It has to be an ER word. Oh, but it's otter. Got it. Okay. Oh, nope. Older. And if you lose, you lose. So, But this isn't a daily game, so you can just play again. Um, you can play as much as you want. Uh, it would be... I don't know. Do you think we should add a daily mode to it? It might be fun. Uh, we haven't touched this game in a while, but let's see. Stand. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> Got that one in two. Um, I wanted to do radio, but there's no D. I can't even do ratio. Um, how about an A Y word? Like, can't do salty. <laughs> I'm trying to think of one that uses. Yeah, let's just do Harry and move on. Okay, so it's not the Y there. I think the A probably is there then. Um, like coral. No. Okay. So do we start or end with A? It'd be like R I A or something. I don't see how. Um, A. We could we start with A. This one's kind of tough. Um, it's like R. Oh, it's R R. -er. No, wait. That, none of that's a word. Um, R R L. It couldn't be R L. So, um, what can I do here? I'm gonna try A at the end, but let's think here. Oh, a a no, Agora doesn't work. It feels like, I don't know, what does it feel? It feels like it got to be IA, but I feel like maybe I'm missing a consonant that it would work with. Tough one. Might have to do a filler, uh, just because I don't want to be sitting here. Um, a good filler would probably start with A. Um, what if we end in E? I'd want. I don't know. Maybe I don't even try to go for an A. Maybe I just go for all new letters for a filler. Um, because I really can't think what this word is. I need some more info. Uh, can't help but think it's like Afri something or Agri. <laughs> Wow. Aria is not a word, right? <laughs> it's just it's just it's like this. It's Aria, I think. Um Alright, I'm gonna guess Umbra. I don't know. I can't even think of getting more letters, but let maybe this will give us some info. Alright, we know it starts with A now. Um uh, what should I do? A I R. I don't know. I feel like this is I. I feel like this. I was on the right track, but what is it? Like, what do we end with? P G. K. Can't be another A now. That's good to know. X no. P. G. F. J K. <laughs> W. Um, I 
I'm gonna guess aired. I guess I get one more. All right, A, I got the E, okay. Okay, so it's an E, not an I. Oh my gosh, I still can't think of it. What do we, what do we end with? Oh, is it agree? Whoa. It is. I don't know if I've ever seen agree come up on a... I feel like I'd remember that. On any variant. If I have, it's really rare. Crazy. Um, how about stony? Alright, how about... Hopefully, okay, slick. Hopefully this one's not as hard. Um, spill? Nice. Alright, so here's our last one. We have to be very careful. So it tells us, um, actually, you can't see it on screen, but it tells me I have two paths to victory. Which means there are only two words I could possibly guess that are on the answer list. It, ignore, it ignores words you may not know, right? So it assumes answerless words are all words you know. So of the answer list words, there are only two words that we could guess such that um, our sixth guess is forced to only one answer. So what we need to think about is what are all the possible answers? Now, a little, little insider info here. In ultra hard mode, um, it is limited to at most four possible answers to give you the, the chance of, <laughs> of actually coming up with something. So we just need to think about what four there might be. Now, we know that this is probably LL, although the L could be first, but we know there's two Ls, and the L can't be in the second spot. So LL, and then probably I. So is it the Illy trap? Probably. So we can just go through. Willy is on the answer list, so Willy's one of them. Philly is one of them. Hilly is one of them. Probably not Jilly or Killy. Um, is Millie or Billy? Billy is one of them. So these are our options. We've got Willie, Philly, Hilly, and Billy. So we need to do a filler that will use three of these letters. And there are only two answer words that use these letters. We could use a, a non-answer word. That's perfectly fine too. Um, so if I just guessed Willie here, it's not even a gamble. I'm guaranteed to lose, right? Because it's between Philly, Hilly, and Billy after that. And whatever I guess, it'll pick one that it wasn't. <laughs> so you, you have to do a perfect filler here to win. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, kind of hard to think of a word that uses three of these letters. If I only use two of them, then I've, I've guaranteed a loss. So I got to use all three. Um... I'm kind of trying to rearrange these in my head, but maybe a WH word, and then we have to use like an F or a B somewhere. Whiff. Whiff does it. So if I guess whiff, now it, it was forced to pick um, an answer because there was only, um, and so from that it picked Willie. So now we just guess Willie, and there we go. So nice, and you just play as much as you want. Um, I probably should make this a little smaller so that we can see this stuff at the end. Um, I'll, do, I'll do that now, and then I might undo it, to be honest, but let's see. It's kind of tall. All right, so if you want, you can see, uh, you can reveal that our two options were wharf and whiff. Wharf is a good one, too. Those are the two answer words that it was saying would work. And both, notice both, neither of them uses the B. So it would always be between that. And we were right about the possible answers. It was Billy, Philly, Hilly, and Willie. So and it always tells you that even if you lose. So you can uh, learn what you could have done. So yep, yeah, that's got little. Let's move on. We'll do polygonal. Ooh, look at today. We've got a, I'm sure a Hexpert's on. OK, it is. Seven letter word, but this repeats three times and this repeats twice. Now, if I did ing. I don't know, like, is pipping a word? It is. Well, it's not ing. Um, I feel like this is probably going to be like an S, maybe? Sass. <laughs> I don't know. There's a plenty of things it could be for a double consonant. I don't like R, though. Something like tattered. 
Um, I yeah, think of that. It, actually, I'm not. How do you spell tattered? That doesn't look right to me, but I don't see the word very often. Um, Tato. The problem is that 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 repeated vowels really messing with me. Um, F. I'd like to do at least one more expert guess before I or expert guess before I um do a filler. What if we ended in ERS or something like that? Um, peppers, darn it. It's that P again. Um, tetters, sessers, lellers, memers, bebbers. <laughs> uh, it can't even be S. Uh, debtors? <laughs> or what about like ERY? Tettery. Dettery. Memory, memory, <laughs> my memory. <laughs> um, darn, I don't see it. Oopsie. Uh, let's try M again. Mama, mama, mammoth. <laughs> um, mama, see. <laughs> Could be like an ASE word. Seems hard. Bab ba baggid ba bab babbage. Gagab. <laughs> Seems close. <laughs> oh, I can't use G. Okay. Almost made a terrible mistake. Um <laughs> I might have to do a filler now. I don't. I can't think of anything. All right. Well, what's a good filler? Uh, normally we do maidens. Um, what was it? Poultry. Both of those have unused letters. Um, we could do machine. That also uses an. Uh, that also uses an I though. Um, I want to use like S and T and. I don't know, maybe we should try a vowel in there. I don't know. Let's just do like... Stra... <laughs> I don't know. Um... Ter... Terse... Tussle, tussled. I don't know. Good enough. There's an L. Low, low. Huh. I don't think that helped. Um. Chore. Chorles. Wait, chorles is a word? Okay. All right, it ends in ALS, which means that's an A, and we just need the repeated letter. Um, mammals. Wow. I had mama filled in, too. I just wasn't thinking about mammals. The pronunciation issues, what that is. I was very close, but I mean, I tried a lot of things, so of course I was. There were not very many common words. Mammals, mammary, peppers, and peppery. Wow. So yeah, um, I guess pipping wasn't <laughs> a common word. Oh, like I missed Zyziva. How could I have missed Zyziva? <laughs> okay, let's do the mini. Ooh, um, sleet is how I start this one. Double E. Um, I think this is, yeah, gre greed. No? Okay. These, these always get hard to think of something. Um, is there a chi? I mean cheat, but there's no T. Cheap. Like a like a little bird. Um, nope. <laughs> you don't get letters. Just grays. 
I don't even know what to end in now. E E F E K Cheek would have been a good guess actually. Could it be like um start with A. A week. I don't see it. E E N. Ha. Can't think of anything. E M. Oh, queen. Queen, 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 queen. Yeah, okay. Got it. Why was that so hard? Nice. Let's do let's do symbol. Start with Blaze. Wow, Blaze got nothing again. Toxin? Toxin, maybe an N at the end. We'll try it. That means we can only use the U though, which makes that a little bit hard. Maybe it'd be like a U U N word. I might be able to, I might just put a different letter at the end, but if Okay, so here's the thing. I have to use a U somewhere, probably. Um, because if I use the I or the O, it's going to be at the end anyway. So might as well try an N. Um, end in N. Be like R U N. I don't know how to. We can end in T O I or or N. Well, we can technically end in X as well. Um. Apron? No. Apron. Yeah, right. Um, I want to just like test N with green or something, but there must be something. I like to play this in hard mode. It's just sometimes very hard to think of a word. All right, I could try thinking of something that ends in T. Maybe that's easier. Like a, like a UST word? Trust. No, it can't be trust. But it could be crust. Pretty sure it could be crust. Ooh, I was right about the C R and the T, but there's no U either. Which means we need an a Y. Um What is it? Crypt. Ooh, that's a tough word. Nice. Crypt is what we start with for uh <laughs> when we play Word 500 though, so that's fun. Sorry if you hear some background noise. Nothing I can do about it right now. Um Alright, so let's move on to do Fusel. I'll we'll start with Crypt. There's a P somewhere, so let's just know that there's a P somewhere, and and let's just get new letters here. Um, how about something like spied to get the E as well? I'm liking that result. S P E E probably. Um, speed. Okay, so it's S E E P. Sweep. No. Sleep. Yes. No, that had a lie. Darn it. <laughs> uh. What else? Sheep. There we go. This is the second time that's happened. Wow, that's super rare. Super rare. All right. Awesome. I can't believe that happened again. Well, let's. We're gonna get a lie on this one too. Let's start with sheep here. Well, we have to repeat a letter. Okay, so we'll repeat the O. Maybe like um. Troop. No, we don't need to end in P. I mean, we don't want to end in P. Stood. We don't want to have an S. Oh, actually, there's a lie. So I like stood. All right, the lie was not the S. Okay, I'm thinking about hmm, ending in DE maybe. Pride. It, it, it can't be pride though. So let's let's try for something else. Um, arrive. Oops. No, that's two R's. Um, we need to use the D as well. Uh, 
Oh, drive. Drive works. Oh, well, if there's an E, it's not there. I hate this. this is the worst. This is it gives you no info. You have to just try them all again anyway. Um, what are we gonna guess here? Well, I can't guess a D, so I can't get the answer. So let's do a good filler. Um, I want to know if there's an E somewhere. I'm not let's guess E either. Okay, well, just because I want to know doesn't mean I get it. How about laugh? Because it's laughing at me. None of those letters are in the word. <laughs> we nice to have some info. <laughs> we know it doesn't start with D. So doesn't start or end with D. It's kind of weird. Um, it'd be like an R D Y word. Um, like what's our what's our lie? Is the lie still the E? I could guess nerdy. Whoa. Okay, so these are symbol clues, which means some other letters go there. So that means the D has to go here. It's the only place that that's left for it because we know there's a D in the word. And then maybe there's an E in the word. Maybe it'd be like D E. We know it can't go at the end. And then we could end in N, maybe. Um, and then how would we finish this word? Um, it could be D-E-R as well. Ooh, I like D-E-R, actually. Like, wider. Oh, I got it. Holy cow. It was, a, it was an I-E-R word, and I didn't think to try that. <laughs> it didn't really lead me there, did it? Wow. I can't believe I actually solved that and had a guess to spare. Well, that's it. Those are the games. Um, let me know what you thought of Gauntlet Little. Um, I designed the algorithm for the um, uh, for the final round in Ultra Hard Mode, so that was fun. Um, and of course, if you enjoyed this, then why not leave a like, subscribe, and a kind comment below.